Okay, so before I start the review, I wanted to leave this off by saying to all the people on the internet that are bashing and sending hate comments towards the people who did like the movie, and to those people who are doing the same thing for people who do like the movie. It needs to come to an end. It's not that serious. These are just films that are simply made for entertainment purposes. And just because you didn't like it or you did like it is no reason to send hate towards someone who might have the opposite opinion of you. We just need to respectfully debate these things with each other and have fun with it. It's not that serious. So Captain Marvel is the first female-led MCU film, and it's about Carol Danvers and the quest to figure out her past and where she fits in along with this Kree scroll war. And honestly, I really enjoyed myself. I know that a couple of days ago, whenever the embargo lifted and people were talking about, you know, their general thoughts on the film, I saw a lot of mixed emotions, and it's definitely been the most controversial MCU film to date. But Personally, I really enjoyed myself, and I really want to leave this off with the positives, and what I do have to say about it is, for myself, my expectations going into it, you know, I expected general, fun Marvel film, and I wasn't really getting that vibe from the trailers at all. I really thought Brie Larson looked really flat, tone deaf in the trailers, but I was really wrong. Brie Larson was just fantastic in the role, perfect casting. I loved the sass and that attitude and that 90s grunge kind of punk vibe that she kind of gives off and the way that she plays off of Samuel Jackson which by the way the de-aging technology has really come a long way from that really weird shaky scene that we got in Ant-Man with the young Michael Douglas and it's come a long way but both of them their dynamic that they from the first scene that you see them together they really just play off of each other fantastic and you know, you do get Clark Gregg in there, and but a little wasted in my opinion. But the real area where this film shines is Ben Mendelsohn. I mean, I have to give my hats off to Kevin Feige for getting that casting. Ben Mendelsohn really makes this movie. And I honestly, thinking back on this after sleeping over the sleeping on the film overnight, I don't think I would have liked this movie as much if it wasn't for Ben Mendelsohn. And the house scene with Ben Mendelsohn was fantastic. For people who have seen the movie or people who are going to go see the movie, you'll know the scene that I'm talking about. The house scene was probably the best, you know, scene in the whole movie. Jude Law was fine as well. Uh, I mean, it's Jude Law. You know, nothing that I haven't seen before. And I wanted to really give a special shout out to Lashana Lynch, who I've honestly never seen anything that she's been in before, but she was great in this film, and it she really shined with her chemistry with Brie Larson. And with every good thing, there's also some bad things, and the humor in this movie really was just kind of hit or miss. You know, whenever it hit, it really hit, and you really felt it, and it gave you a good chuckle, but when it fell flat, it fell flat. Like, it just stunk. A lot of the things that I did see on those early Twitter reactions and those early reviews was how the cat was great in the movie, and it does not work for me. All the Annette Benning stuff for me really didn't work. She has this horrible scene with Brie Larson where it was just, I'm going to dump as much exposition as I possibly can at you so the audience understands it, so that way they don't think that this whole movie's stupid. And it just really, all of her scenes really didn't work for me. It really felt like she was phoning it in, just... Oh, I'll be in a Marvel movie. My grandkids love those. Sure. It's a good paycheck. Fine. The Ronan the Accuser stuff for all of the MCU fans out there and the hardcore sweaties who are really thinking, oh, wow, we get to see some of these characters that we had established in the Guardians of the Galaxy films really just wasted. There was really no point of even having them in there. I mean, it's cool now if you have seen Captain Marvel and You go back and you watch the original Guardians of the Galaxy, it adds a little bit more of the background story of, oh, I know where these characters came from. Cool, now they're not just so much of throwaways, but they were throwaways in this film as well. There was just really no point of needing them. Another thing in this film was the writing. The writing just, it was a sharp rock that really needed to be polished. A lot of the scenes felt really clunky. A lot of the dialogue was a little too heavy on you. And... 
certain scenes were over explained, whereas certain scenes are under explained. For example, I've seen this movie and I still don't understand why the Kree Scroll War is happening. Now I've read the comics, it's flushed out in the comics, but as a film fan, as you know, thinking about this from a general audience point of view, coming to this film and not understanding the scrolls and you know, we've seen the Kree before in Agents of Shield and Guardians of the Galaxy, but they weren't really fleshed out even then. So we really needed something to make us understand why these two sides are butting heads. And there's a twist in the movie that personally really worked for me regarding the Kree Skull War, but I just really needed that background story from it. Uh, Another thing in this film is editing. Some of the scenes just felt like we need to, we're working towards getting here but we don't want to show you how we get there. We're just going to cut to it. Like, it feels like 20 minutes here is taken out, 20 minutes here is taken out, 20 minutes here is taken out. Characters just kind of show up in places. It's not really fleshed out. But, I mean, overall, with all the negatives and the positives together, it just was a really entertaining film. Like, that's all I wanted it to be. I just wanted something that was going to get me hyped up for Endgame and something that I can throw on on a Saturday morning when I'm cleaning up my bedroom and, you know, cleaning up around the house. It's a good, entertaining film. It's not something that I'm going to, it's not your Winter Soldier, your Civil War, your Infinity War, that anytime it comes down, you're going to want to sit down and get engaged and watch it over again and have fun and find new things to laugh about. It was fine. It really had those early Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Incredible Hulk, Thor, you know, the first Avenger, those kind of vibes. So, it is a very, very important film and for the MCU in particular. And I would definitely recommend staying and seeing that mid credit scene. I know some people are like, oh, I'll catch it whenever it comes on Blu-ray or whatever. Please stay and see that if you do intend on going to go see Endgame because it is very pivotal. But overall, my thoughts for this film are it was just entertaining. And I would probably have to give it on a scale of 1 to 10. I would definitely have to give it like a... Seven and a half out of ten. Just overall very fun film. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to hear more of an in-depth take, because I'm really trying to tread light on the spoilers, please be sure to click the link in below that I will leave for my spoiler review. And then be sure to subscribe and like and just comment. Let me know any suggestions that might help out in the future. Working on changing this the scenery in the background and the camera. So, you know, just stay tuned for all that. Thank you. Have a good day.